My name is Kathy Gregory. I'm 72 years old. I've lived all those years here in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. I'm married to Patrick Gregory. We've actually been together since we were 15, so that would be 56 years. We dated throughout high school, got married at 21. Well, we have three children, Laura, Devin, and Christopher. They're all married, they all have children. We have seven grandchildren. You know, there were three of us, and we had parents that were very involved. Lots of sports, outdoors a lot, surrounded by family, cousins, grandparents. We were really lucky. I work out about an hour, hour and a half every morning. I always get a physical every year. I know most people don't, they go every two years. I'm just always trying to take care of myself. I was first diagnosed um, with UTUC about 10 years ago. I had had a physical. The doctor called me and said my blood work didn't look right and that I needed to go have an MRI. The doctor called me back in and said, well, it looks like you might have a blood clot on your right ureter, but I want you to go to a urologist. So I did, and it turned out that it was not a blood clot, that I had a tumor on my um, right ureter. I, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, you know, like I said, I was perfect health. I remember the day that I found out my mom had cancer very well. This is a person who takes care of herself. She's always been active. She never stops moving. She was still fairly young. She didn't fit the bill of somebody that had cancer. Just hearing those words is really scary. My name is Steve Bennett, and I'm a urologist here in Cincinnati. When we start talking about urothelial cancers, urothelial cancers is just a fancy term for cancers that start in the urinary tract, specifically where urine collects. In general, when someone has a urothelial cancer, either in the kidney or in that tube coming down, historically the only treatment available was to remove that kidney and to remove that tube all the way down to the bladder. So I had about a week to decide what to do. My husband and I talked about it a lot. I knew what the surgery was going to be like. Uh, it wasn't an easy surgery. And then I worried about what ha would happen if I got the tumors in my other kidney. It was a big decision. I just did not want to lose my kidney. That's, that's pretty much the bottom line. I finally decided that I wanted to keep my kidney. After that, it was pretty much every six months, you know, cystos, urine tests, CAT scans. So she, after discussing with her husband, agreed, we're just, we'll go back and keep looking. And if we see recurrences, we will treat them. And the next seven or eight times we went up, there was a recurrence, I mean, every single time. You know, every time I knew she had one coming up, it, it was like I dreaded it because you could see the pain and the really the suffering that she was going through with having these, and it went on for years. Each time that we'd talk about this um, you know, nephroureterectomy, removal of the kidney, removal of the ureter, one of the things that had come up is word of a new drug. So I encouraged her to wait, to not have the kidney removed. And eventually, Gelmida was approved. And I know we signed her up right away. When Dr. Bennett came out and said that there was a new drug, that was just, 
the news we'd been waiting for. You know, a gel that started off cold as a liquid and when it became body temperature, it solidified, but then managed to, you know, again, dissolve over time. I mean, that's some pretty cool technology. And when used in the setting of delivery of a chemotherapeutic agent to a locale that, you know, the biggest problem was getting a medicine to stay up there long enough to actually have an effect. I didn't even have to think twice about it. I was gonna do it. I went to the urology center for the treatment, outpatient. I was there maybe three or four hours and then I could come home. You know, after the six rounds of treatment, we waited about six to eight weeks, and then we did the same cystoscopy and ureteroscopy that we'd done many times before. And, you know, when the scope's up there, and you see this absolutely pristine renal pelvis, certainly no evidence of recurrence, you're like, wow, this was awesome. My initial concern just was, how is mom going to feel? Because, you know, when I think of chemo, I think of all the terrible side effects, and is she gonna be super sick, and oh my gosh, you know, what can I do to help, and. She was definitely a lot happier after these treatments than the scopes she was getting. The most common side effects with Gelmido include urinary tract infection, blood in your urine, side pain, nausea, trouble with urination, kidney problems, vomiting, tiredness, stomach or abdomen pain. So with respect to Kathy, as we were going through treatments, Gelmido was a new drug. We didn't know a lot of what to expect. When using Gelmido, one potential complication is swelling of what's called the ureter. If we end up with that swelling or blockage, we'll put what's called a stent in. One of the other potential complications of Gelmido, given that it is a chemotherapeutic agent, are some of the typical side effects that you can potentially see from chemotherapy in general. One of those can be what's called bone marrow suppression. Now, knowing that, we will often, well, every time, we'll do blood counts before and after to make sure that everything is staying the way it's supposed to. The reason that we tend to accept that risk is because not accepting that risk involves taking everything out. You know, removing the kidney, removing the ureters. When you or your loved one's faced with a diagnosis of cancer, I think we all think the worst. And we're a very close family, and it didn't affect just Kathy, it affected me, the kids, the grandkids. Once my mom completed the whole treatment and she got the great news that it was successful and things were clear, it was just like a, a giant weight was lifted that you didn't even realize that you were carrying around. We were just like blown away. We were so happy because every time she had a scan, there were new tumors. It fixed the issue she was having. She was happy. Six months later, he, we went back for a follow-up and there was no sign of a tumor. Six months after that, no sign of a tumor. I think it's changed my life as far as just doing more things with the family, looking forward to seeing my grandchildren grow up, enjoying life. It's a weight off of everybody's mind. And so that was the best part. Talk to your doctor to find out if Jomido is right for you. Please read the following important information about Jomido.